Hey guys, here's what I'm working on today. It's a 1968 Carmen Ghia. Original paint, original motor. And I say original paint, it's missing quite a bit of it on the right side, which I'll show you shortly. She's got a few bumps and bruises, but this is a very, very solid car. Look at those headlights. Usually those have a half inch, a quarter inch of Bondo above them. The nose has been kissed a little bit tapped little 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 love tap here or there she still has the body tag original l41 car that's all the bumpers i got with the car no i did not do that no that does not count as 102 uses for duct tape because <laughs> that was an epic fail as it should be still has all the side moldings these are usually, well, sometimes filled in. Torsion hole cover, still present. You always want your side trim if you want your car media to be more original versus the smooth filled in look. So this is the bad side. It's got a lot of filler. We're gonna strip, strip this down to bare metal, get rid of all that filler. It's got a little lower corner action. They make a replacement piece for that. I should have one in the rafters somewhere. The interior is really crispy. I mean like baked. Like it was sitting in the Florida or Arizona sun or something. So, he said it was in his shop, but it's just so dry. But it's all there. 67, first year, the wood grain key on the uh, first year for the key on the steering column was the 68 and I believe the 68's had one year only seats 68 was the first year they went to the gas cap on the outside of the car on the fender 67 had it under the hood which I prefer if you're getting gas fumes in the car on like a full tank you need to replace that hose you can see that mud sill it's got a little bit of rust on it on this side. The other side's good. But those headlights, solid. 68 is also the first year. 68 and 69 had the side little reflectors. You can see the circle. That door needs a little bit of adjustment, but if you're looking at gears, I can tell you I've bought a lot of them and these hinges, if you find one without a sagging or broken hinge, you're really, you're really fortunate. You'll see the wear marks on this gap. It'll be all off. It'll rub on the fender. This one needs a little bit of an adjustment. It's kind of hanging up a little bit. You want that line to match. But, Get to the motor here. Oh, rear deck lid. Another common area for these to rust. Rear deck lid. So HO motor, correct motor for this car. I have the oil bath cleaner that would sit on that pedestal in, inside the car. The previous owner, like his nephew, that I bought the car from, he said he put mystery oil in the carburetor, he put mystery oil in the plugs, um, plug holes. It's not seized, I haven't tried to start it. He said he didn't try to start it. I don't know if that's true. He probably couldn't get it started and just said he didn't try, but. Anyway, a little bit of rust here and there. Battery tray, common. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for me. I just wanted to show you guys the 68 Carmen Ghia. And also, it's about that time. The 211 has landed. So yes, we will be welding. We'll be working on the 63 ragtop. We will be wheeling the 56 oval in and out of the garage for some welding. And then, when I get good at welding, 
we will be working on the 66 SO42 and getting this thing back on the road. Well, I was going to give you guys a little teaser and I got nothing. I haven't checked anything yet, but I think if I recall right, he had said this thing was parked because the starter went, which I don't know, 55K. That seems a little suspect, but anywho, that's it for me. Thanks for watching guys. Look for updates on the Miller and some welding. Super pumped about that. So have a great day and we'll see you soon.